Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today, you're probably wondering what this is. Well, fish! And guys, this is my first very slimy fish. But guys, since I've never done a fish on my channel, I thought I might as well do one now, and I had to carry it home with bare hands. Don't worry guys, I have washed my hands, don't worry. These gloves are here for a reason. <laughs> it's could have stained my hands with smell, I don't know. But I've got my scissors, I've got my dissection tools right here. Oh my god, this fish has got seaweed in its mouth. Before it's before it died, it ate seaweed. <laughs> okay. Um oh yeah, let's go. This fishy is slimy. I mean like very slimy. I'm gonna cut off fishing. just my granddad. I don't know how to even cut this. It's so big. My scissors won't get round it. We'll just cut the fin off so it's easier. Hey, fin get off. And guys on fishes, I always love these fins. The red fins. Oh my goodness. Hard as heck. Jeez. This fish is mad hard. This, these are its gills. It's, a, it's only got one gill, so I don't know why I said gills. It's literally got like seaweed in its mouth. I'll show you guys, I'll get it out. See, look, he <laughs> ate seaweed before it died. How ironic and weird because if it died, then it wouldn't have be able to eat, then it wouldn't be able to eat if it died. But this is how its fins would have been when it was alive, but I don't know what kind of fish it is. I th I thought it was a redfin tuna at first, but my friend, my friend, my mum's friend will know, so hopefully he can point that out in the comments. All that's coming off is scales, guys. Look, all that's coming off is scales, because it's got scales on. It's ridiculous how tough this fish is. No wonder a dog can't penetrate its skin. All I'm cutting now is scales. I want to be cutting a skull, not scales. And I've already got a fish in peroxide over there. I don't know why my camera is so far like that way. I'll put my chair further so you can see me in the middle. But it should. Oh my god, it's so slimy. Right, I've got eye number one out. My first time getting a fish eye out. I've done a fish, but it didn't turn out so well. It's literally got like its top half of its head, but not its jaw like opening and stuff. So this fish is perfect. I'm not grabbed, I said, what are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna clean it, that's why I'm recording. 
It looks really weird because it's got massive eyes. It's got huge eyes. Ow, it just pricked me. Jeez, these are sharp. You don't want to be picking it up by its fin because these will spike you. I was picking it up by its tail like that. I carried it all the way over there from across the lake to here. And this, that was a pain because there was tons of people. I didn't, want them, I didn't want them to see me with a dead fish in my hand. So yeah, well that's good. There we go, that's eye number two. For some reason they're easier than birds. Don't know why I'm saying that, because I've never said that. Because I've never done a fish. Well, I have done one, but it didn't go very well. So, yeah. It do I don't know why it's got so many of these little... And a fish is very weird to me, because I don't normally do fishes. I normally do, like, birds and stuff. But right now it's been really tough. And I do not know why. Come on, scissors, you can't break now, you're new. And these, this was made for you, so don't break, please, scissors. That, see, look, guys, I never knew what these are. These are in its gills, and I don't know what they are, and there's a little slimy thing. And guys, even I don't like doing fishes, because they're so slimy, and I've never seen them before. In, up close like this. I don't know why, but there's blood coming out of its bum hole. <laughs> Look. Butt hole. It's fish poo. Okay, wow. Fish poo. Nice. That's why it was eating seaweed. It pooped out seaweed. Hello. Gills, can you get out please? I woke up at 7.14 and I'm still tired. Right. right I, cut, I managed to cut through its skin. Oh yeah, it actually might be a tuna because of its... Poo coming out of his bum, stop. So much poo. Ow. It's freaking me now. I've got poo, fish poo blood on my table now. And this, this, um, what's it called? Scalpel. This scalpel I've had for ages. So it's obviously going to be like really blunt to cut through fish skin. Jeez. This is just the skin of its gills, not its actual gills. Definitely some sort, I thought it was a tuna at first, but now considering that my mum says no that's not tuna then obviously no, it's not going to be a tuna. Jeez, this meat! And guys, I'm the one cleaning this skull and I'm still disgusted by this. Did you see me jump then? That's how I've discussed that I am. And I'm worried it'll get all over me. And I don't want it to. It stains your clothes. That's why I'm wearing all my old clothes, the ones I did my duck with. These are old because this is small for me now, look. So that's why I'm wearing all these small clothes. Jeez, my leaves, dude. Which is really annoying to clean because its flipping skin isn't penetrating. It's a dumb part of that fish. 
their skin is too hard to penetrate, even if you're a really tough carnivore, still going to have a hard time eating a fish. There, finally. Got that bit of fat off. So that's the fat look. It's all fat. That's the I shot on iPhone 6 meme. It's really funny and it's got good music. It goes like some of my friends have probably heard that before, so if you're watching this video, please like the video if you've heard that before. Oh jeez. So slimy, so I've managed only to get off that much. That's not a lot, and it's only this, 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 and, and this. That's all that's in a fish. So, yeah. Ow! Its bone just pricked me. Once I get all its fat off, I'll be able to just cut its head off with ease. Jeez, there we go. Sorry if this video is really long, guys. It's because I've never done a fish and now you don't know really how hard it is. More seaweed. Actually, it's quite good that. So look, I've got all of it off now. So that's hollow now. And this will be ready to put in peroxide once I've got more of the fat off. And fish works really well per with peroxide because it's food grade. It dissolves the flesh and makes it all clean so you can have a good collection. I don't know why it's called food grade but it just is. It's probably used to like disinfect surfaces after you've been cooking raw things like fish for example. And guys I did find a bigger fish than this. It was about it's probably off it's about it was about that big and right now it's in peroxide over there or broken down. That's why I like cleaning skulls with, with ease with me because with me, it's a lot easier because I know what I'm doing. Right now, it's not looking too good because I don't know how to do it properly. I've never cleaned a fish skull before. Me personally, no. But I have put one so little maggots can eat it. But that worked, but it stank. So, and the flesh went all rotten. It's the problem with skulls, they start stinking after a while. After you've just cleaned them, they start stinking. And I might be completely wrong. Oh, wow. I've got its head off. No way, I've got its head off. That's spilling guts everywhere. <laughs> Stinks, man. And I've smelt, I've smelt rotten duck before, and this is oh. I don't know why I was disgusted over a thing that I eat, but it just smells disgusting once you get the head off, because all the juices come out. And it's blah. finally there we go. That's the fish's head off. That's the side, and let's carry on with this buddy. Oh my 
God, it stinks. Blah, 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 blah. And I've managed not to get covered in fish. <coughs> I'm going to be happier this when it's done. Well, that's it so far, guys. Oh, my friend Labster, he's just uploaded. He's ranking up in trove, I think. You can eat that, but not this. And I keep seeing this, saying this every, nearly every video. Subscribe to um, APC. It's AP. It's his actual channel name is called. It's APC BTW, so go check it out. I don't want to get covered in fish, that's why I'm doing all the time. It's probably the grossest thing I've ever cleaned. But it's going better than the other fish. With the other fish, I have to glue it all back together again. Yes. Best part, JK. Teeth, it's got little tiny serrated teeth. So I've managed not to get covered in fish, which is good, and I will get a shower straight after this because I I probably will stink. So yeah, I'm gonna move my foot further down there so I don't get covered in fish. God, I just opened it up, then it stinks. It's still got tons of cheek, and I don't know how to get it. After this recording, I'm going to say to my mum, everything that I am wearing right now needs to go in the wash. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Now I'm going to try and get the jaw off, but I do not know where where my um, where the jaw of a fish is. I've seen in Dudley's collection fish. Is, he hasn't got this fish because well, he hasn't cleaned it yet, but.
guys, I didn't know I'd come this far in my channel, so a special thank you to all of you that have subscribed. And I keep going up and down with subscribers. Yes, fly, hello. Little tiny baby fly. Kinda looks like a frog, to be honest, look. <laughs> this looks like a, a really, like, tormented frog. Did you see that bit of meat just then? It just flicked all the way over there. All the scales are finally coming off. Finale. My granddad, by the way, that that man. <sighs> Finally, jeez, took some doing. So here is all the jaw, it is very big, <laughs> and this is the skull, tiny there. The jaw is huge and the skull is tiny, very weird. Sorry I'm being really quiet. It's cause I'm concentrating. And fishes are really fragile, even though their skin is really tough. Their their um bone is really fragile, I was about to say sorry. So I'm being as careful as I can, pulling it all apart and twisting and stuff. in the video eh. this video will be uploaded probably a bit late because of the editing and stuff take ages so yeah mm -hmm. 
Guys, I think that's pretty much done for now. Well, that's a sh that's a fish. <laughs> so, guys, I'm gonna go put this in peroxide with the other fish. I'm gonna pull the other fish out and put the other fish in. Okay guys, so it's gonna be it for this video. So hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe down below and I will see you all next time for another bone cleaning video. So guys and girls, peace out.